I'd like to practice the comparison test and the limit comparison test. We use these with series when the series that you are looking at looks similar to either a P-series or a geometric series, and then we can compare. P-series and geometric series, we know precisely when they converge and when they diverge. Now, this particular series, we could actually do a multiple methods but for the purposes of this technique, let's use a comparison test. Well, if you look at this and you think about either a P-series or a geometric series that this looks similar to, let's consider the following series. So we consider this series. We can start at four, we can start at one, it's fine. I will start at four because this starts at four, but it is not necessary here. Well, this is geometric and let's do a little bit of work here to see this. Um, this is 1 over 9 tenths to the k and then I can do one more step. This is 10 over 9 to the k. Okay, this is geometric. And if you look at this, while well, the initial term is 10 over 9 to the 4, fine. But the ratio, so this is geometric, where the ratio is 10 over 9, absolute value of R, 10 over 9, bigger than 1, diverges. Okay, so we have this, ge this divergent geometric series. And now if you look at this compared to this, well, the only difference here is the numerator is different. And in particular, this is always bigger. Okay, so now back to my series in blue that we see the following. Zero is less than one over 0 0.9 to the K, which is less than K plus one, over 0 0.9 to the k. And you could put less than or equal to if you wanted. This is also true. Where the sum k equals 4 to infinity of 1 over 0 0.9 to the k diverges, we have the work shown. Okay, well now, term by term, this series is bigger than something divergent by the comparison test we are bigger than something divergent that means our series diverges test this series k equals 4 to infinity of k plus 1 over 0 0.9 to the k diverges Okay, this is using the comparison test. Here's another example. Now, we will use comparison test again. Unlike the last one, which I could have done with a term test, and maybe you should think about how we could have done that. This one with a term test, it's inconclusive. If you take a limit of the terms um, as a sequence, you get zero. The term test gives you no information. but we are trying to practice comparison, and in fact, I would always use comparison on this series. What does this look like? Well, these are just, this is a three plus minus one to the K. Okay, this is either four or two, right? But my denominator is telling us what it looks like, which is a P series. So here we consider this series Well, this is a P-series. Let's write it one more step. One over K to the one half. This is divergent. As it is a P-series, or you could say the P-series test if you wanted to, a P-series test. Here P is one half which is strictly less than or equal to, well, strictly less than one, but we know the P-series test says 
The P-series diverges when P is less than or equal to one, converges when P is bigger than one, and so we have a divergent P-series. And then here, as I mentioned, the numerator is either two or four, right? We see that it's always bigger than one because it's either two or four. Okay, so we have this. Now, again, comparison test. Term by term, this series, which is the unknown series, is larger than, than something that is divergent. Okay, so then we know this series, one over square root of k diverges. The work over here, of course we must include the work, but I have it in black on the board. By the comparison test, this series also diverges. Term by term, it is bigger than or equal to a divergent series, therefore it must diverge this series. This example looks almost like the last one, except as we will see, our conclusion will be a little different. First of all, again, this numerator is either three or one, right? It's either three when k is even as one when k is odd, but this series looks like, so we consider this series, 1 to infinity of 1 over k to the 1.1. This, again, is a p-series. So this is a convergent p-series. As p is 1.1, which is strictly bigger than 1. Okay? This is a convergent p-series. And if you want to write p-series test, this is fine. Although I have mentioned it's a p-series. This is convergent. And in order to use the comparison test with a convergent series, I need term by term less than or equal to something that converges. Well, I definitely have this. This numerator is either two, I mean, excuse me, it's either three or one, as we mentioned. So I cannot just write less than or equal to one over because it's not true. What is true though, is it's less than or equal to three over this, okay? Now, with a three there, it's no longer a p-series, but it's a constant times a p-series. And maybe I will take the time to come over here and put a little box that we may use. This is something that we use often that the sum of C, A, K, this converges. Here C is a number. So let's say C is not equal to zero is a number. This converges if and only if only if the sum of a k converges. What this says is, and it is definitely not hard to prove using limit laws and the fact that the sum of this series is the limit of the partial sum. If you have a constant times a convergent series, then it converges. If you have a constant times a divergent series, then it diverges. Now we look at this series. This converges as it is a constant times, well, this convergent P series that we already justified. Okay, and now we may use the comparison test. 
We are smaller than something that converges. This series, which is 2 plus minus 1 to the k over k to the 1.1, 1 .1, and the sum goes from 1 to infinity, this converges. Okay, so this is the conclusion. Again, comparison test. We will do two more examples, but they are a little bit different than the three we have done. And here is the first. What we see here, well, we can see it looks like a geometric series. In particular, here it looks very much like 1 over 2 to the k, which is 1 half to the k. This sum starts at 3, which is no problem. The initial term here is 1 eighth, right? It's 1 half cubed, and my ratio is a half. This is geometric. Absolute value of r is 1 half, less than 1. This is convergent. Okay, wonderful. And we know, in fact, what this converges to. It would be 1 eighth over 1 minus a half. But in any case, knowing it converges is what I need for this problem. Now, you might think this will proceed just like the ones we have been doing. But here comes the issue. So I am comparing this series to something that converges, which means... I need to have it strictly less than something that converges. This is to use, or I should say less than or equal to. This is to use the comparison test. Now, if I try to put this here, I have to erase this in order for it to be true. This is definitely the case starting at three. We have 8 minus 7 is positive. These terms are all positive, okay? Non-negative is it's fine. But this is the problem, right? I cannot say less than here because my denominator is smaller. The inequality would go this way. Smaller denominator, bigger fraction. Now, well, something like this, we have it greater than something that is convergent, we cannot use the direct comparison. It doesn't work like that. For the limit comparison, we take a limit. As k goes to infinity, you take one kth term divided by the other kth term. If this number is finite and and not equal to zero. So these are positive terms, right? It's gonna be, if the limit exists, it's gonna be a non-negative number. If it's strictly positive and less than infinity, then this series and this series have the exact same behavior. And in particular, we could say that this series converges. So let's calculate this limit. This is a limit. As k goes to infinity, this will be a two to the k over two to the k minus seven. Now you might see this and this, they're exactly the same. This limit will be one. You could also show that by dividing everything by two to the k. One over one minus seven over two to the k. This term goes to zero here. And so this limit is one, which is greater than zero, okay? So by the limit comparison test, limit comparison tests, this series will converge because we have found this 
this limit, which is strictly greater than zero and less than infinity. And that means that this series, which is convergent, and this series have the same behavior. This is our last example in this video. Now, what's going on with this series? If k is large, the terms look like the cube root of k over square root of k. So let's write this down. We consider this series one to infinity of, this would be a k to the one third over k to the one half, okay? In fact, this is a p series this is a one over k to the one half minus a third. This is three six minus two six. This is the sum k equals one to infinity of one over k to the one sixth. Okay, p series. So this is a p series. P is one sixth, which is less than or equal to one. Okay, this means diverges by the p series test. Okay, wonderful. We should be able to say that this diverges, okay? But what happens when we try to directly compare? This P series is divergent. If I want to conclude this diverges with comparison, I need that term by term this is bigger. This would look something like this. Okay, well maybe I will put the powers, the power, okay, this is one over k to the one sixth. But then I would need to be able to say this and here. This is what I need to use, direct comparison, but, okay, quickly, erase, because I don't have it for all k. In fact, trying to make a less than or equal to here is quite challenging. It is the case that the numerator is bigger, but, well, the denominator is also bigger. So is, the, is this fraction bigger than this for all k, or when is it bigger? That is difficult to reason through. Let's use the limit comparison test. We take a limit as k goes to infinity. We take one series. divided by the other, and provided this limit is positive and less than infinity, then this series and this series will have the same behavior. This diverges, therefore we can conclude diverges. Okay, well let's calculate this limit. I'm going to invert and multiply. I get a 3k to the 1 half plus I have a k to the one half, k to the one third. Of course I could add these two exponents to have one power of k, but it's fine. I'll leave it like that for the moment. I have a seven k to the one third plus, and then I have a k to the one half, k to the one third. Okay, well, the highest power of k that I see will be this one here. I can divide every single term by k to the one half times k to the one third. This will be a three over k to the one third plus one over seven over k to the one half plus one. Now this is wonderful because look, as k gets large, goes to infinity, this term to zero. This term to zero, the limit is one, which is greater than zero, okay? And so by, maybe I'll write it over here, by the limit comparison test, This series, k equals one to infinity of three plus the cube root of k over seven plus the square root of k diverges. And this is our last example in this video.